Welcome to the Hall of Shadows. There is a room that's cold and dark and light can never reach where death resides and secrets hide beneath an earth that weeps. So close your eyes and cut your ties with all you think you know. Be with your fear for ghosts are near and walk the hall of shadows. Well, well, if it isn't my least favorite bartender. <laughs> Billy, how's it going? Gin and tonic? You know it. Well, you are looking dramatically less miserable than usual. I take it your trip was good? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was nice to walk on something other than concrete, you know? Turns out the ocean smells much better than the sewer gas. Yeah, I haven't been out of the city in forever. Maria keeps asking me to take her away. Never seems to be a good time. Listen, don't wait, son. Every year I had a different excuse, and then one day I woke up, and I was 53 years old. 5'3". Tired and alone. I finally decided it was time to take a break. I was burned out. Bad. Quitting that job wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. Don't make a decision when you're angry, kid. And my pop always said that. Then again, he died of a massive heart attack at my age, so maybe he should have been a little more emotional, if you know what I mean. Maybe he should have took some risks. I'm gonna take a couple of risks. I inherited a lot from him, but not his sheepishness. I couldn't keep lying to myself that I was happy. That things were going to get better. I just snapped. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, man. You know I'd take you on here if I could. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you. I'm sure I'll find something. I mean, who wouldn't want to hire a balding, uneducated old man with a beer belly and zero social skills? I got some resume, right? I guess it could be worse, though. Hey, what's with that guy over there? The guy right there at the end of the bar. Why is he wearing that cloth over his face? Don't know. He's coming here the last three nights. Doesn't say a word to anyone. Just sits there drinking his brandy. You don't think that's weird? Of course it's weird, but I gotta keep the lights on. His money's as good as anyone else's here, except for yours. The drinks are on me tonight. You want something from the kitchen? No, no, no. I will stick to my liquid dinner. But thank you, Tommy. Sure. Another round? I guess so. What about you, mister? Okay. Bill, I gotta take this garbage out. Can you hold down the fort for a minute? I'll be right back. Yeah, man, no problem. <coughs> hey, you okay? <coughs> hey, hey. You need some water or something? Hey, Tommy! Tommy! Man, how, how can you breathe with that cloth over your face? Hey, hey buddy. Hey. Let me, let me help you. What the? I see you scared our friend off. You didn't start talking politics, did you? Hey, Bill, you alright? Don't look so good. The, the, the man, he was, he was gagging or something, so I went over there. I was gonna give him some water. His face. Tommy, he didn't have a face. It was just a swarm of, of, I think they were flies, but behind that, that, that cloth over his head. Wait, what? Slow down. There were flies instead of a face. I, I, they were flying everywhere. Hey, didn't you see him? Anybody here? 
You, you didn't see this guy? Where did he go? Bill, relax. You're scaring off other customers. I gotta go, Tommy. Wait, you shouldn't be driving right now. Let me call somebody for I, you. I, I'll be fine. Bye-bye. I'll see you later, Tommy. Get a hold of yourself. This is what happens. This is what happens to you, Billy, when you drink on a friggin' empty stomach, Tommy. Did offer you something, remember? You stupid. Stupid! Should have eaten. Man, I might still have jet lag. What the? What the? Hey, get, get, get out of here! I crack a window for you, buddy. Hey, get out! Pain in your neck. Wake up, Bill. You almost swore right into the other car. What is going on with you? What I wouldn't give back, give the, uh, anything to be on that beach again. I want to, I want to go back to that beach. If I've been back a few hours and everything's already going to hell. Hey, wait a minute. I don't have to stay here. The only reason I stayed this long is because of that stupid job. But now I can start fresh somewhere. Yeah, Billy, you could start fresh, brand new life. Yeah, but you know what? You need to go to sleep. First, get to bed. <coughs> Damn indigestion. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Get out of the city. Pop? I don't feel right. I better lie down. Hey, you, you, you're the man from the bar. How'd you get in here? Why are you following me? You saw beyond the veil. I said... I can't... Breathe. Take my hand. And your pain will stop. How? What do you mean? What are you... What are you? I... I have many names. But one singular task. Take my hand, Mr. Nolan. It is time for you to move on. No, 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 I'm not ready to die. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to die. Neither was your father. Come. No, no, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Just give me another chance, man. Just give me another chance. Anything? Yes. Anything. Anything. There is a hole in the sky waiting to be filled. If not by you, then someone else must take your place. You want me to... kill someone? Your words. But yes. The question is how badly do you want to live? Ms. Valerie, your neighbor, will be pulling in any moment. She's a junkie. Her life holds no value to herself or anyone else. Okay, but I, 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 but I... You must make a decision now. Will I get caught? I don't want to do this and spend the rest of my life in jail. There will be no legal ramifications to your actions. Come on, Bill. Billy, come on. Your life's been an absolute waste. This can't be the end. You still have 20, 30 years left. Good years. You could do them right. The way you always wanted to. Now you're a happy man. When the time comes... Okay, fine. I'll do it. Bill. 
time is it? Ew. Is that a knife? I'm sorry. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Favre, you put down that rock. Who put that rock down right now? No! This wasn't a deal. <laughs> this wasn't. Oh. My sincere thanks, Mr. Nolan. You saved me an extra trip. You're a liar. Liar. Uh, liar. Two sickly livestock brought to pasture. Time for you to roam free, Bill. That was Beyond the Veil, starring Carl J. Grasso as Bill Nolan, Michael J. Rocco as Tommy Carson and The Stranger, and Krista Scavron as Valerie. And now, a reading by Christina Rocco. The Church does not deny that with special permission of God, the souls of the departed may appear to the living and even manifest things unknown to the latter. But understood as the art or science of evoking the dead, necromancy is held by theologians to be due to the agency of evil spirits. The Catholic Encyclopedia. Thank you for listening to tonight's episode. All of Shadows is produced by Michael J. Rocco. Original stories written and directed by Christina Rocco. Casting director, Carl J. Grasso. Sound engineer, Michael J. Rocco, or New Frame Media. Until next time, we bid you good night.